Come on in. Neither of us knew anything about Belfast. I was, the plan was to come over on, on a trial and then um, just see how it went. And then if it didn't work out or if they, they didn't want me to keep me, then I'll go back and study. And came over, loved it. Um, you know, had a good preseason, managed to get a few starts because uh, Bestie had come back from an international tour and missed the first few games of the season. Um, and Mark Anspring took a chance on me really and gave me a few starts. And yeah, we just went from there, I think. Two months later, I'd signed a, a three-year deal. And then all, all throughout that year, I think Nick was finishing a degree and then we were, we were making plans for you to come over in my third season, wasn't it? And we had bought this house and Rob, we just did it all over FaceTime. He had to like send me yeah. pictures and he was viewing houses and I couldn't come over and be a part of it. But he had just, we bought this house. He was like, Nick, this is the house you arrive yeah. and this is you what we're moving the, into. You can imagine the pressure on me. Like, yeah trying to pick the right house without even viewing it. And yeah, so it was crazy. It's a big adjustment also because the boys travel so often. So I moved here and then Rob would be like, I'm away for the week. And I was like, what? I just moved here for you and where are you going? And like that took lots of adjustment. If I didn't have the rugby community, I think the change, moving to a foreign country would have been so much more difficult. Yeah, yeah that was the start of it, wasn't it? The start of it and then here I am, what, nine years later? Rob Herring, born in Cape Town, as a competitive Ulster debut tonight. A wee bit of a delay. A great take by Dayak Heaney. Okay. No, it, it means a lot. It means a lot to play for Ulster. And, like, we probably had opportunities to leave over the years um, at different stages, and like, we never really seriously considered moving because like, we both love it just so much. And you know, I love playing with the group of guys. and. Even though the group's changed so much over the years, I think there's always been a, like a really good group of people at Ulster, and um, particularly the guys who are born here. You know, I mean, like to win something with this club is, is is everything, and that's something like over the over the years that I've really sort of adapted, and like it means so much to me now as well. Um, you know, I just really want to we really want to deliver silverware. Uh, we feel like the the supporters we have deserve it, and. Um, I think that's why I've heard the last few years has probably been so frustrating being knocked out in playoff games and where we thought we could have maybe done better. But um, yeah, no, it definitely means means a lot to, to play for this team. Um, I think one of the memories that will always like I'll always be special to me is that game where Millie ran out with you. My 200th. Um, 200th cap, yeah. yeah, which was always, I think just having Mills involved was just incredible. Um, and just something we'll always remember, and she will always remember. I'm terrible. I wouldn't really remember that like, this try on this game. Even after all the years I'm playing, she still doesn't really understand the game. I do. <laughs> he always laws, says so. I need to understand more, but like, <laughs> it's just he just goes out. He it gives all he can, and um, I'm always there to support him um, through the ups and downs. Of the just support him in other ways. And yeah. it's kind of nice in a way because then like. I don't have to come home and you know we don't we don't talk too much rugby you know we talk nah. about family and life instead of you know I, I like the fact that when I leave rugby I leave rugby and when I'm home I'm home so it's yeah. it's kind of nice in a way. Yeah, this is like my baby. I used to stand out here with an umbrella before I had this. Yeah. So where did the nickname Squish come from? Yeah, it was. Oh, I got killed for that. Yeah, it was her. <laughs> it was me by mistake. It was all her. I messaged him, he was sitting in the changing room one day, but it was years and years ago, and I used to call him Squishy. I don't know what it was from, Spongebob or something. It's from Finding Nemo. I don't know, Squishy. And then somebody took his phone and read it, and then that's always just stuck, okay hey, Rob? Yeah. Well, here he comes. This is a wonderful, wonderful moment for the man who's been the heart and soul of Ulster for well over a decade. An Irish international, Rob Herring, born in Cape Town, but very much an Ulster player and very much an Irish player, wins or makes his 230th Ulster appearance and becomes Ulster's most capped player of all time. So we normally have our team meeting um, before the game and uh, Stu got up and he was saying a few words um, just about my career or whatever and um, you know, saying basically wishing me luck for the game and. 
And then I just looked around and, and Nick and Millie were, had walked into the change room and then from that moment, I kind of don't really remember what Stu said after that. It was just such a shock. Um, they kept it from me the whole week. I know. Somehow they managed to keep it, but um, yeah, I think Dan phoned you or Dan texted text you on, on the Monday yeah. morning, yeah? Was yeah. It? And then, um, yeah, and then Millie sort of walked over. I was quite proud of her to, to be able to do that. You know, it was a big crowd, a lot of people around, there's a lot of tension and she just walked straight through and came and sat on my lap and, and gave, me, gave me my jersey for the night. And, you know, those are the kind of special touches that you, know, that you remember forever. And um, for them to be a part of that, um, you know, it was, it was very special. I hate, I, hate, I hated that it was, a lot of it was about me. And, you know, I felt like Scotty got his first cap and to me, that's more important, you know, and um, it was more important that he had a good game and enjoyed it and enjoyed the occasion. Rob hates all that stuff and he just hates anything like to be about him. Like, I'm so proud of him and I did express the whole week how proud I am of him. Like it's just the hard work and dedication that goes into something like achieving that. Um, and like I said to Dan, like Rob's work ethic is just like blows me away. So I just feel like I was proud of him and the moment, but he is being Rob, like he just didn't want the moment. And then I was like, well, we need that you, like, I want to give you the moment. I think it's actually going to be one, like Rob said, one of those things that like after rugby, we'll look back at and be like, wow, that was actually like a really great achievement. I remember when I, like, when I first came here, like, you know, I was just, just a guy from Cape Town, trace, like chasing my dream to be a professional rugby player. Then, didn't ever expect to get, you know, internationally capped and to be in a position where I'm the most capped player for Ulster. Like it's, um, those, those are not even things I was dreaming about back in the day. I was just chasing the next game and trying to be involved every weekend and, you know, hunting down island caps and being a part of squads that win things. And, you know, it's just kind of crept up uh, over the yeah. last year. And, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty special. It, you know, I'm glad parked now and you know I think one day I'll be able to, to look back at it and you know I'll obviously be very proud of, of, of what it is and um, your body won't be yeah <laughs> I'll hopefully add a few more caps over the next few years and then one day when it's all said and done I'll be able to, to look back and and look at it properly and you know reminisce and reflect